Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Oracle Database Administration Workshop. Uh, you know, in, in our previous video, previous session, we have seen about 11G ASM installation and 11G uh, Oracle Home installation and, uh, you know, uh, uh, 11G database creation. In this uh, today's session, we are going to see uh, what's the difference between 11G and 12C. So we'll see the screenshots of uh, 12C grid, infra grid infrastructure installation and then, uh, you know, uh, database uh, Oracle Home installation and then the database creation. So then once we go through the screenshot, then we'll do the actual deployment in our live lab environment. So this has a, like two part as usual, like part one is GI installation and part two is Oracle Home installation. Part one, the moment you run the run installer, so you know, it'll ask for the uh, software update. You can skip it. You can see the screenshot here. You can skip the screen, uh, the software update. And then uh, if you have the My Oracle support, you can give it. And then select uh, install configuration for grid infrastructure for a standalone server and the select English language and the give the, the, the discovery of your uh, disks. And then, uh, you know, this, this particular uh, two GB disk uh, that is for OCR, I, I may name it as CRS. You can give any name here and go for redundancy external and then allocation unit size one, one AU or two, four AU or whatever the allocation unit size you can refine here and click on next and then give this as password for your ACM instance. And then uh, de design, like, you know, define whatever the uh, the the Oracle user groups, uh, like O install or uh, DBA or you know ASM admin, whatever you define, like uh, whatever you design, give accordingly. And then uh, click next, and then select the grid infrastructure uh, base location and software location, and then click on continue and give the inventory location, and then uh, you know root automatically run the root configuration script, or you can skip it manually. You can run it at the end of the installation and then proceed further it will ask for the uh, you know it will do the pre-checks and then it will give the list of errors or warnings since this is our lab environment we can uh, skip this memory issue because we have allocated a uh, you know limited memory uh, otherwise you know everything is fine like if there are any fail checks you have to uh, fix it like you know fix and check again and then it will generate the script and run it and fix that whatever the issue is noted here if no issues then you can uh, uh, this memory issue you can ignore and continue and then uh, it will give the summary page here and then click on this installation and then we'll proceed with the installation and then configuration of uh, generating th these are like uh, the, the default script it will generate and click on yes and then it will uh, continue and then it will finally uh, uh, done with the installation and then it will launch the automatic storage management assistant configuration at the, at the end of the uh, installation it will say that grid infrastructure for standalone server was successful. So if doing this one, you are uh, the, the standalone grid infrastructure is ready. So on top of that, you have to install your Oracle home in, in your uh, uh, local Linux uh, disks or the local uh, your uh, mount point. And then you can create your uh, database using DBCA into your uh, uh, ASM, automatic storage management. So the part two is Oracle home and DB installation. Uh, before we go with the Oracle and DB home installation, we have to create a one more disk group. Uh, called require FRA for that, you know, uh, run uh, ASMCA, ASM uh, Automatic Storage Management Configuration Assistant, ASMCA, and then it launch this particular GUI screen and then create and then select the uh, whatever the disk group you want. Uh, first, I want to create a data disk group. So I'll select this data uh, file, data external disk, and then I will give the name as the data and then external redundancy, click OK, and it will it will give this message, uh, disk group for data is created successfully and click OK. And you can see CRS and data two are there. Again, click on this create and select the last one that is FRA or RICO, whatever name you can give here and the appropriate name you can give here, FRA or RICO and select the redundancy, high, normal or external, whatever redundancy you can prefer, you can give it and then click OK. It will say disk group FRA created successfully. And then that uh, concludes our creation of the disk groups and then ex exit the screen. And then now you can run the run installer and download the 12C uh, binaries, Oracle Home binaries, and then the run installer. And you can skip the software update or if you have a password and email ID, you can give here, click next, and then give the my, my Oracle support credential or else you can skip the software update. And then you can see here, install database software only. So that is where your only Oracle Home will get installed. And then later you can use the DBCA to create your database. And then choose this single instance installation database installation. And then click continue and select the English language and uh, uh, choose whatever the uh, the license you have, like enterprise edition, standard edition, 
uh, standard edition one, whatever the one, whatever the uh, license you have, you can select it. Uh, typically, we go with enterprise edition and then select Oracle base and software location and select appropriate group like either DBA or O install or whatever like you design you can give here. And then, you know, it will do this all the checks. And if there are any issues, it will list out. Everything, otherwise, everything should be successful. And then once done, it will give you the summary page here. And so once you review the summary and proceed further and it will start installing your Oracle binaries. And then at the end, it'll ask you to run this root.sh script. Once that is done, you can run that script and you'll see this particular message here. And so once that is done, you can go back to your GUI screen and click OK. And then that completes your Oracle home installation. Setup completed for uh, you know uh, Oracle home installation was successful. And then you can see the installation of Oracle database was successful and close the screen. So that uh, concludes uh, installation of uh, uh, you know Oracle homes. Now we will uh, jump into the uh, actual lab environment. We'll see the uh, you know all this uh, installation setup. Uh, thank you guys.